located at a, a, a bridge side, not the one that I was working on, but one that is actually dry and, and ready for the next step. Um, I want to show you uh, right here a, this is a, a, a node where we have the two diagonal struts coming into the uh, vertical strut. And you'll see that this particular uh, node wasn't perfectly fitted. That's probably not going to make much difference since this is on top of the, the bridge. Uh, this is the uh, uh, top cord and where it meets right there there's a little bit of gap and I'm going to show you uh, a little bit a little bit of I'll give you a little tip on how to how to fix that. Now as I was commenting before uh, when you have an excessive amount of glue you end up with these very sharp little uh, edges of glue and they will cut you so you have to be very careful. So I'm going to take a scissor and I'm going to just trim and if you just grab that, uh, it, will, it will cut away, but we'll do this kind of carefully. I just want to make sure that when I get to the next step, uh, I don't have any sharpness there because it will tear the, the paper gusset that I'm going to put on there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a piece of paper and I'm going to fold it. And I'm going to fold it in a way that allows me to see that I have about, oh, I don't know, maybe a half an inch beyond uh, the intersection or the node here. And I'm going to cut this piece of paper. to show you a technique for making gussets. Gussets are reinforced, reinforcing uh, of the, the uh, node and it's absolutely essential, uh, particularly uh, wherever there's a, uh, where there's tension, uh, a tension uh, situation because the uh, weight will start to pull the, the cord away from uh, the struts, so it's really necessary to create a gusseting uh, element here to, uh, to reduce that possibility. If you were to just take the side now with no gusseting, the bridge would not hold uh, 100 pounds. It just wouldn't do it. The gusseting is a really significant part of making the bridge very, very strong, even though these are fitted well well glued, um, it just wouldn't hold enough without the gusseting. So the gusseting, if you forget to gusset in a tension, uh, one of these nodes where there's tension, tension uh, coming into play, uh, that's where your bridge will fail. The bridge should fail in the compression component. It should not fail in the tension component. All right. So what I want to do is I'm going to slip this under here. I'm going to make this uh, come up about maybe an inch and a half, and then I'm going to wrap this around and just kind of hold it like so, and come up about an inch and a half. And that gives me the length of my gusseting material. So I'm going to trim that, and I'm going to trim that. That should give me about three pieces. That's, that's fine. That'll give me three gussets. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to smear it around on this. And I'm going to put this up again up in an area away from my. Let me just smear that around like that. See, I've gotten it roughly centered there. It's about an inch and a half up. I'm going to add some glue into that gap. I'm going to add 
add some glue up onto the struts and then onto the cord. I'm going to add some glue to the gusset itself. Now this is the place where you really do not want to let, uh, want to add plenty of glue. You don't want to have the uh, this be dry. So I'm going to let this rest for a minute. I'm going to turn it around so you can see it. And I'm going to add glue to the outside. Now this may seem kind of crazy, but I'm really trying to get the paper to start to conform to the various parts. And you can see as the paper becomes damp, it starts to conform to the struts and to the cord. In like so. And I'm going to take my a little piece of uh, tubing that I flattened and I'm just going to push it around and make sure that it fits really tightly. The tighter it fits to the components, the stronger this cord, this uh, gusset will be. So then I'm going to turn it over and lay it glue to the other side should be softening from the previous glue that I put on there. And just smear it around. And I'm just going to... And as it starts to conform, it fits in. And this will make very, very, very strong um, intersections or nodes. Okay. And I'm taking my little of tubing that's been flattened and I'm pushing it into every little nook and this should look extremely neat when it's done and if you see that you're starting to pick up the paper with your uh, finger or with your, your little flat tube add a little more glue Everything is kind of tucked down. Just like to kind of push that in like so. And it should look really flat and really uh, conforming to the components. And that's that is a really well uh, gusseted node. And this will uh, will make a very very strong intersection. If you have time, if you can, I would do this a second time. Uh, this is just a single layer of paper. If you can add another layer of paper right here where they all intersect, uh, that is a, is a, it's a, it's a really inexpensive, uh, weight-wise, a very inexpensive way to increase the strength of the bridge. So that's the, uh, the gusseting component. Advise you to do this very, very carefully. It is the uh, probably the single most important uh, com component in, in making a very, very strong bridge. All right. So I'm going to move on to the next phase, and we'll stop there. And that is the gusseting component.